If you visit an ancient Egyptian art museum, you will be able to think that all the art that they created, Egypt must have the largest or have the greatest number of museums during the time. But this is not the case. Most of ancient sculpture, pottery, symbolic painting was hidden away from view it is imperative to remember that the most of these works were never intended to be seen. That was simply not their purpose. Egyptian art is not meant to be for the living. The artworks of ancient Egypt have fascinated people for thousands of years. The Egyptian techniques and their art would inspire those of other cultures up to the present day. Early Egyptian art was functional and created for a practical purpose, while later art was intended for aesthetic pleasure. When an Egyptian artist painted a figure, every body parts was shown from its recognizable angle. The face is shown in profile, except for the eye, which is shown head-on. The body was shown head-on, but the arm and the leg is twisted back into profile. The sizes of every figure in ancient Egyptian is highly symbolic. Pharaohs for example were the largest figures in any paintings, symbolizing their dominance and power. The smallest figures were usually the peons, the little people as there were. Egyptian artists covered limestone walls of tombs with a fine layer of plaster. The main colors used were red, yellow, black, blue, gold and green, taken derived from mineral pigments that can withstand strong sunlight without fading. Use of color is highly suggestive, men who work outside were often red, whereas women and indoor workers is painted yellow. So, this convention of compound view comes up many times in Egyptian arts, and it is important for us in studying it. The Egyptian is obsessed with over-death in the afterlife. After a ruler passed away, ancient Egyptian believed they then became gods to prepare their journey into the afterlife. Ruler fills their tomb with all the items they could need in the afterworld, including gold, jewelry, food, drink, and even pets. To protect their tomb from grave robbers and from any kind of damage, they constructed elaborate tombs, including Great Pyramid of Giza which remains today as one of the seventh wonders of the world. To ensure happiness in afterlife, they painted their tomb wall, showing scenes from one's life on earth, so one's spirit could remember it, or scenes from the paradise one hoped to reach. The famous tomb wall painting called Fouling Scene, for a man named Nebuman. Nebnam was a middle-ranking official during the New Kingdom in ancient Egypt. In this inscription Nebnam see himself as a hunter, with his wife, daughter, and his pet cat. Egyptian sculpture was highly symbolic, and only those closest to the pharaohs could see the sculptures. Sculpture was used heavily to present the gods or pharaohs, to remind people of their heroism. Sculptures and statues were made from clay, wood, metal, ivory, stone and gold. 
Most ancient Egyptian architecture were built of mud brick and limestone. The best known example are the Egyptian pyramids and sphinx. Most buildings were built via the post and lintel method of construction. And many are aligned astronomically. Columns were typically adorned which reflect the organic form of bundled reeds, like papyrus, lotus, and palm. Carved from stone, the columns were highly decorated with carved and painted hieroglyphic texts, ritual imagery, and natural motifs. The impact of the ancient Egyptian art has had on civilization since 3rd century AD is truly profound. Egyptian paintings, sculpture, architectural innovation, and symbolism would help shape the art of ancient Rome and Greece and still evident in contemporary arts.